You know, some people hate the thought of speaking in public and some people love it and they embrace every chance that they get to speak. But the truth is, most of us kind of fall in the middle. You know, they kind of, they, they can do it if they have to, but they don't really like it. In this short video, I'm going to show you and reveal to you some of the common do's and don'ts of public speaking. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a best-selling author, international speaker, and consultant. I've helped thousands of people from all around the world on how to improve their public speaking skills and how to become better high-paid speakers. Now, public speaking is a skill that anyone can learn. And that's why I personally love teaching these skills because I can take the most anxious public speaker who hates public speaking and spend just a short time together with them and have them loving public speaking and really giving each presentation the best that they can. So here are some quick do's and don'ts of public speaking. First do, remember to always be yourself. Kind of sounds cliche and corny, I know, but be the best that you can be. In other words, your personality should be shining through in your presentation. You should be real with the audience. You should share real experiences that, you know, when you talk, um, this will help build trust, credibility, and actually make you a likable speaker. Have you ever really, I mean, can you think back to the last boring business presentation and the speaker really seemed uptight? You know, they, didn't, they acted all professional. And professionalism, let me say this, is great, but if you want to send them off to bed, be professional. If you want to get them engaged and liking you, you can be a bit informal, throw a bit, you know, use a bit of humor, but uh, being too professional is overkill. Second tip, be polished and well rehearsed. You should try to be as polished and well rehearsed as possible. You know, you have to be committed to your topic and know it inside out. So practice is very important. And when, you know, when I practice for a seminar, I practice at least five times in the 24 hour period prior to the presentation. This helps me be more prepared, confident and less nervous. It also helps me give an excellent speech. You know? Some don'ts, okay, don't use slides of too much information. This is a common mistake. Uh, among speakers who love PowerPoint. They have too much clutter, not enough images, too many statistics. They just send people off to sleep. People just tune out, you know? The, the slides that uh, you choose should be enhancing your presentation. It shouldn't be taken away from the words that you're using in your presentation. You know, people should be looking at you, not reading, okay? Now, if you have auditory uh, or handouts, that, that they're good too because the focus is still kept on you rather than the PowerPoint presentation. I also want you to remember, and this is another point, that it's not always about you. You're, you're there to give a speech to an audience who may or may not uh, be eager to learn. So don't just give a talk that tries to show how smart you are, you know, or how funny you are, or how great your vocabulary is. Your speech is a chance to teach the audience something new, something exciting, and get them to act. You know, your commitment should be getting your message across to your audience. It's about them not you. Another tip is say something that they haven't heard before. You know, people can be forced to attend your seminar or speech by a company or maybe even a, a nagging spouse. And as a speaker, it's up to you, who, you know, to make them want to be there. You know, it's, it, there's a big difference if uh, someone's turning up if they want, you know, because they want to be there and someone turning up because they don't want to be there. So it's up to you to make them want to be there and enjoy the experience. Next tip is, you know, don't love the sound of your own voice. You know, some people go on and on and on about a topic and they could have finished in 15 to 20 minutes, but rather they, you know, it took 40 minutes. They talk and talk and are totally boring the crowd. It's as if they love the sound of their own voice. Now, when you speak too long, it's just impolite. You need to show respect to your audience and know when to quit. My name is Alex. If you'd like to gain free instant access to a 30 day video training course on how to become a better public speaker, how to rid yourself of any fear or anxiety, and how to improve your public speaking skills to a degree where you give a powerful, persuasive presentation, then go to www.radicalpublicspeaking.com. I'll see you there.